This is third grade go math lesson 2.6. And today we're gonna to, uh, solve problems using data. So uh, the directions say use favorite hot lunch bar graph for one through three. So this is the favorite hot lunch graph and I'm not gonna use the one below it. Um, here we go, let's look at number twos. Um, how many students did not choose chicken patty? So if we look over here, the favorite hot lunch, and we have chicken patty, as we see it's going by twos, and it's between the four and six, so we're assuming that's five um, students here. But what about the rest of them? Who did not choose it? So I see I have eight for hot dogs, between 10 and 12 for pizza, so it should be 11, and I have two for grilled cheese. Um, so I need to find out how many are not chicken patties, so we have to add up all the ones that are not chicken patties. So I know 8 and 2 makes 10. And then I also have 11 for pizza. So if I add plus 11 more, that would be 21. So 21 students did not choose chicken patty. All right, panning out. Um, how many more... Oh, or actually let's look at the directions use the ways to get to school bar graph four through seven for four through seven so this is the ways to get to school the number of students who chose those different ways and the different types of transportation they chose to use so how many more students walk than ride in a car to get to school so we need to find out how many students walked again it's going by twos and so I'm assuming this is seven and uh, walk then ride the car so and there's four here so and it asks us how many more it's usually asking for the difference there so we're going to subtract seven minus four equals three so three more students um, walk than ride in a car to school and we'll look at one more number six is the number of students who get to school by car and bus greater or less than the number of students who get to school by walking and biking. So let's find car and bus real quick. So car, four students got there. That way in 12. So if I add these both together, I have 16 between these two. Now the other part says, um, is that greater or less than the number of the students, or greater or less than the number of students who get to school by walking or biking? So if I look, biking, there's three students, so seven and three, and it makes 10. So a greater number of students uh, use car or bus, 16 compared to 10. So I'm just gonna write a greater number of students I'll just write in parentheses um, 16 get to school oops school by car and bus And that is how we solve problems using data.